Hello friends, in this video we are going to cover the most important feature of AngularJS called modules. Modules act like a container for different part of your application like it is used to configure your routes for controllers, filters, services, directives etc. Now to understand modules you can think it like a main method of your application. If you are familiar with C Sharp or Java, main method is the entry point of your application. But in Angular, entry point will be your module that you will mention in the ng app directive. Once ng app directive found, Angular will load module associated with that directive. So once main module is loaded, it will inject all the other components like filters, factories, services, routes and controller that are bounded to that module. So now let's see how to create a module. Creating a module in Angular is quite easy and straightforward. You just need to use Angular object. Angular object is already built in Angular. On this Angular object you need to call module method. Module method of Angular object has two parameter. The first parameter specify the name of your module and the second parameter specify the dependencies for that module. A module can have dependency on another module. For an example, this my app module may depend on any other two module. So you will mention those two modules in the second parameter of the module method as a dependencies. But as of now, this module don't have any dependency on any other modules. So we will pass an empty array as a dependency. So this is how we can create module. So flip to your editor. So to create module, we will put it in a separate script. So I have already created one file app.js here. So you just need to refer this script after your Angular script. So app.js script. Move to your app.js file. This file is blank as of now. So first we need to create module here. So to create module, I told you, you need to use angular object and angular object has a module method. This method will take two parameters. So the first will be the name of your module. So the name of my module is my app. And second, the list of dependencies. So as of now, I don't have any dependencies. So I will pass empty array and terminate. And you can create one variable here. So this is how we can create a module. In the next video we will learn how to create controller on that module to write logic for your application. So to use this module as a main module to bootstrap your Angular application you need to use it in, in your shell page. So here I have ng app directive. So in ng app directive you have to mention your module name. So my module name is my app. So you need to use this module name in ng app. So when angular will load it will look for ng app directive and try to look which module is mentioned here. So all your controllers, filters, directives that you will create on this module will automatically load on your shell page. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.